Hello, am I audible to you guys? Your screen is visible. Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So, guys, uh, just uh, before starting, uh, this session sh should be an interactive. You can ask any questions at any point of time. So, the course which we are discussing that is a full stack Java so, uh, Java course. So here is my introduction about uh, my profile. So I'm working uh, in a banking and finance company from last 80 years. I've completed my MCA and uh, currently working as a project architect for the finance domain. So in this course, we will be learning, we'll be covering the syllabus for the course Java, High Spring, Hibernate, Spring Boot, MongoDB with uh, Spring Boot application, databases such as the MySQL, and the basic information about the databases, SQL database. So various types of uh, disabled databases we'll be discussing here. After that, microservices from UI perspective, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. From advanced Java script perspective, we have a Bootstrap and Angular, and uh, some query languages. It's a jQuery and Ajax, <laughs> Angular JS, then say DevSecOps tools. How we can secure our application from vulnerabilities or any hacking. So basic standards will be discussing and the standard practices. Later on, we'll be discussing the Jenkin, why the Jenkin is used, what what all tasks we can automate from build life cycle management system. Then we'll be discussing the Maven for the build automation. So the code which you have done or developed, that how we can build application with the help of Maven. So we can define various life cycles that we'll cover after that from the cloud perspective we'll be discussing the what is a cloud it's just a basic idea so what is a cloud what are different types of clouds are there after that how we can deploy our application on cloud interface also on the cloud platform that will be covering so any question here also will be working on projects uh, related stuff. yeah yeah that will be already covered for the okay. core java perspective we'll be discussing one of the project for the standalone application yeah. and for the web best application we will be covering the task like the developing an apis mm -hmm. which you can mention in the your cv okay from advanced Java perspective, it will be more about from the enterprise application development. That part will be covered. Okay. Okay. So in advanced Java, you can as a team member, you will be as a team member. So certain modules we will be discussing that you can write in your CV. So from the Java, uh, we'll be discussing today. It's an introduction to the Java. So the major functionality of the Java, it's a write once and runs anywhere. It's a URA platform. So whatever the code you have written in the any operating system that can be run in a cross platform. So as you are working with the any company or any college le level, so you worked on Microsoft machines. There might be the chances you need to deploy your application in either Red Hat based system linux based system or centos fedora so these are the operating systems we have so this is java virtual machine so java virtual machine it's a virtual machine which is uh, oh, do you know what is a virtual machine have you heard about this java interpreter it runs behind this java virtual machine it interprets and compiles your byte codes after that, soft, uh, JVM is also used for the software simulator for the CPU architecture. It is in line with the CPU architecture. For various operating systems, they have developed the different JVMs and the JRE environments. 
so now we'll move to the jerry java is a uh, jerry is a java runtime environment so it's a predefined set of the classes available to use that's a core java apis like basic utilities io utilities graphics networks lang packages you, you can use date packages there which you can uh, readily use or some math functions in a fraction of seconds you just call the method you will get an output like to find out the root or square root you can easily do that so these are some of the features uh, by which java is more important uh, from the technology perspective first is the object oriented so java is a purely object oriented programming language there are four major pillars for the to make java uh, as any language as a object oriented language when we say it's an object oriented object oriented means uh, it's a real world entity that we can bind in uh, uh, we can use those features while developing an application so first major feature filler is abstraction second is encapsulation third is inheritance and fourth is a polymorphism so in college days you might be heard this words abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and interfaces since java doesn't supports a multiple inheritance java came with the solution with the help of interfaces so by which we can achieve the our 100% object oriented programming language second is simple java is very quite simple it has a similar syntax to the c and c++ because it's originated from that language only third is a secure so secure uh, from the security perspective java has its inbuilt key store which manages the security for your code fourth option it's a fourth option it's a platform independent platform independent uh, will come when the application which you written in a, in any plat uh, in a windows platform and that you wanted to deploy in the another cross platform so the code will remain same you don't need to compile it anymore you just need to have jerry in place with respect to the operating system in a few minutes you can run your application fifth is a robust so java is a robust language it uh, follows the certain rules which gives the features for the robustness sixth is a uh, portable and some of the additional one that we'll be discussing whenever we'll start these sessions architectural neutral then dynamic interpreted high performance it also supports the multi threading and the distributed one that's why the java is more important and these are the features to make java as important <clears throat> so java is a portable as long as that the jvm is compiled from the particular processor and the operating system typical programs like c and the c++ is the compiled for the particular processor architecture and os whereas java runs everywhere right once and runs everywhere okay so java is uh, an object oriented programming language with the similar syntax to the c also it's a uh, structured around the objects and the methods and a method is an action or something you wanted to do with the objects it avoids it avoids those overly complicated features for the c++ in c++ we have operator overloading pointers templates friend class but in java we don't have it that can be uh, have some different ways 
so this is about the history that how the java came into the market and some of the pointers that we need to take care so java is the most popular language in the world wide okay. it has been created by the james gosling and the patrick nocton employees of the sun microsystem with the support of the bill joy of which who is the co-founder for the sun microsystem sun has officially presented the java language at the sun world in 1995 it's may 19 may 23 1995 and after 2009 it has been taken over by the oracle so currently all the licenses or the ownership is belongs to the oracle as a company Currently, uh, Java released a new version that is 20 and 1.0 is the most commonly and widely used. It started from 1.0. 1.0 is nothing but your legal C classes. It's a pilot uh, version that we can see. Say, the project was born in the 1991 behind the scenes of the uh, Sun Microsystem when the team of the three engineers, James Gosling, Mike Sheldon and Patrick Nocturne sought to design the language applicable for the small electronic devices. Soon after, they launched a green project to study the impact of the coverage between the digitally controlled home appliances and the computers. As it, uh, uh, using the C++ uh, language, they made a digital remote control equipped with the graphics animated touch screen. It flew uh, and the output it after the certain research, this remote control had a fantastic feature of the controlling a whole living room equipment. It was a program in a new language, completely independent of the processes. It was running on the making your remote one kind of it. The future of the technology in the next five to ten years. So if you heard about it uh, there are many tasks which are getting automated nowadays robotic process automation is one of the example for that similarly if you could uh, see the new news where the chat gpt came into the market which gives an answers to you so it follows under this only so first is the process automation and the virtualizations by 2025 more than 50 billions of the devices are connected with the digital internet of things it is predicted by the macnees robot robotic robots on automation 3d printing and more about the generate 79.4 zettabyte of data per year distributed infrastructure Currently, the application which you are uh, using nowadays, mostly applications are used on the cloud platform. You can uh, take an example for uh, um, Netflix, Amazon Prime, or any your Facebook application or any Google application. All those are running on the cloud infrastructure. From the company perspective, they deploy their application in one of the platform either it's aws gcp or azure platform as a distributed word meaning it, you can keep your some of the application in one of the platform and rest you can divide into the other platform that's why we can achieve the availability for the 100 percent availability zone also applied artificial intelligence by 2024 ai generated speeches will be behind more than 50 percent of the people interaction with the computers companies are searching for ways to use ai effectively through the consultancy says why any company can get a good value from ai if it's an applied effectively and behind in a repeated way repeatable way okay here a uh, new application if you heard for the chat gpt so that is one of the example on single you can ask any question based on possible answer it will reply you future of the programming 
so where the neutral uh, neural networks and the machine learning write code and create a new softwares this tech trends makes possible for the rapid scaling and diffusion of the new data reach ai driven applications according to the mckinsey in a part it could uh, see the creation of the software application so far and these are some of the tools that we need, will be using while developing an application so all text editor supports java you can use for uh, vi vim emac notepad or wordpad and you can just save that file with the java.java .java file that is one and some of the ids we will be using so visual studio is one of them j creator eclipse netbeans visual studio intellij and maven that will be covering and one more oh no i think it's covered one this is just a sample program that uh, in college days you might uh, worked on here so i'll just explain so as java is a very simple uh, it follows certain rules and regulation and your code is ready to start so you can write a class with the hello world containing the main method and save that file with the hello world.java should have the same name as of the class name that is the first tool we need to apply once you have compiled uh, for the compilation we execute java c command on the your command prompt where your java where your file is available on the file system once the compilation is completed it generates a dot class file so dot class file is nothing but your bytecode file which can run on any another cloud cross platform application uh, cross platform operating systems a lower dot class to run this you just need to write the java space the class name it will execute your public static word admin block as it's a starting point of a program whatever the statements you have written it will start executing it so this is this will look like this here we need to define the class access modifier as a class we need to define here after that we need to define the name curly bracket start some main method public static word main after that we are uh, it's a uh, it accepts the string arguments as an input then we can write whatever the logic we wanted to write here system dot out dot printlnd it's also a library or it's an a jre library the classes are already available in the uh, java library that we are just using it these are some of the differences with respect to the technologies like java and c java or java versus dot net java python and the java versus c++ once you have uh, completed uh, this then can then you can apply for these positions like junior java developer senior java developer java web developer dev secops devops developer or engineer solution architect but it will take time to uh, i have given just an a basic example for each company the designation and uh, salary structures are different it's totally depends on company standards some similar technologies are also available to compete the java like nodejs rx js and the flutter but as java it's a purely object oriented and it's a compiler one so it is more secure <laughs> these are the some of the certification you can apply for it like uh, java oracle certified for the enterprise edition 7 application developer or standard edition developer cloud also uh, apart from that if you have interest with the cloud you can go with for the cloud practitioner and AWS solution architect any questions guys okay so like from when we start this session? Uh, actually that uh, uh, I'll ma'am will tell you the schedule for that okay you can just coordinate with her Okay. okay.
Uh, any other question? No, I don't know. Uh, sir, how much time it will take to complete? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it will take at least three minutes, three months. Daily one hour, it will take. Only Java or like the whole thing? I'm talking about the complete, complete. whatever I shown you. Yeah. And uh, like if I talking about only core Java and the Spring Boot part, so how long it take? Hardly it will reduce 15 to 20 days because this is the major part. Like uh, this... just not only the basic things uh, I want to learn, like the core things and also like the I want to practice all of them. And yeah. so, so hardly two months, not more than that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone. Mm, thank you.